This video shows you probably the quickest way to speed up your Fire TV Stick or Fire TV Cube, and it also can help reduce buffering too. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this is probably one of the quickest ways that you can speed up your Fire TV stick and reduce any problems with it too, like buffering or sticking or hanging. Now, this method of doing this is a bit like what you see people do on the iPhone and iPad where they close the apps down running in the background. Also like some people do on a PC with Task Manager. So the Fire TV stick and Fire TV Cube does luckily enough have an app which allows you to do this pretty quickly so let's just go into it so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download an app first of all now you don't need to sideload it it's available in the Amazon App Store so just go across to the magnifying glass there just uh, beside your profile picture or the head and shoulders like mine press the down button to go to search, press the middle button, and then the on-screen keyboard will come up. So what you wanna type in here is background. So as you're typing background, you should see this come up, background and apps process list. So once you see it, go down to it, highlight it in white, middle button, and then you're looking for this icon here, the dark blue with background apps and process lists and the little sort of heart monitor in it. So make sure that's highlighted, middle button, and then middle button again to start downloading it. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection. As you can see, mine's downloaded, it's now installing. And once it's installed, you'll see installing go to open. So once you see open, then middle button on the remote control and it will open. And then you're gonna see this guide here if it's the first time you've opened it. Now it says, please choose whether you want the background apps and processes list to open on device boot. So do you want it to start up when you start your Fire TV or your Fire TV Cube. If you do, then uh, tick that little box there. If you don't, then leave it unticked. I mean, I'd recommend leaving it unticked. So let's just go down to the bottom here. You can have a read through this if you want. Make sure that got it is highlighted once you've had a read through. Middle button, and here we go. Here's a list of all the apps that are running in the background. Now these are my sort of apps that I've downloaded to the device. So as you can see, there's 11 apps open. We want, we want to close them because the more apps we've got open, the more RAM and the more CPU power is being taken up. So you're going to find probably stuttering, buffering, it's gonna be generally slow. So the more you can close down, the faster it will be. And hopefully the less problematic as well. There's less stuff running in the background to interfere with other apps too. So all you need to do is just go up to close multiple there, highlight that, middle button on the remote control, and just say, go to select remaining. Okay, if there's any in there you wanna take out, like for instance, I've got a VPN, so I want the VPN to still run in the background because I'd, I'd, I'd like to protect myself. Um, so I'm just gonna highlight that one, take it out so it's not highlighted in, in white, and then go across to close selected apps middle button on the remote control. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna take us to this screen here where we've got to go down to full stop. So go down to it, middle button on the remote control, then press the back button. Go down to full stop on the next app, middle button and then back button. You have to do this for each app. So just keep doing this, go down to full stop, middle button, then back button. Go down to full stop, middle button, then back button. Full stop, middle button, then back button. You know the score by now. So just keep doing this until you end up getting back to the main menu. So that should, there you go. And as you can see here, we've now got one app running. That is my VPN. Now say for instance, I wanted to always leave the VPN running. What we've got is we have got an option here now of a whitelist. So let's see if I can find that, the whitelist. So I've just pressed the middle button a couple of times and there you go, whitelist apps has appeared. So if we go into that, there you go, I can select my uh, VPN, so just by highlighting it there, go up to save, middle button, and there we go. So it's now gonna ignore the VPN 
from running in the background and it's not going to come up on 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 any list now if we go into system user there there's a lot more apps in here that uh, are, are running but most of these we can't shut down unfortunately there's a few on in here we can if we go down to prime video fire tv player that allows us to full stop if we also go down and what we're looking for really is apps with icons, uh, big bright icons. There's another one, there's a prime video one there. So we can go into there, full stop, and then back button, that gets rid of that. Screensaver, I think we can do that as well. Let's just go across to screensaver. Yep, full stop, and then back. Uh, freebie, we can do that as well. So full stop and back. And like I say, just keep going down. Let's just, Amazon Kids, yep, we can do that. Let's just try Amazon Live Shopping. Yep, we can do Amazon Live Shopping, full stop that. Let's try Shop Amazon. No, we can't do that. Alexa notifications, I know we can't do. I think the other ones you can do are generally the Photos app, if it's there, and the Internet app as well. So there you go, that's closed down quite a few services in the background. So hopefully now, when we go back to the main menu, hopefully, things will run a little bit smoother. Now, if you do want to go back into that later on and check, just press and hold the home button on the remote until this menu appears, go across to apps, middle button, and then go down and find background apps and processes list, go into it. And if there's anything running in the background, you can just go to close multiple and, uh, and select, but there's nothing running on mine at the moment. So let's just open a few things up just to give you another example. So I'm going to open up the BBC iPlayer. Let's open up as well. Let's open up Sky News, send files to TV. And let's go into the background apps and processes list now. And there we go. We've got a few open. So as you can see, my VPN isn't showing in there because I've added that to the whitelist. So let's just go up to close multiple, go to select remaining. And then go across to close selected apps, middle button, and then just full stop back, full stop back, full stop back. Keep doing that. And there you go. No apps open. So there you go. Probably one of the quickest ways of speeding up your Fire TV stick, reducing lag, stuttering and buffering to make your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube run that little bit smoother. Don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, I've got thousands of other videos, so why not have a look around? Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.